Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Matty J Plays. Um, I thought I'd do a quick follow-up video on my uh, original video around fittings and skills. Just a few extra hints and tips I've learned now that I'm a little more au fait with it. I think a lot of you really enjoyed the first one. So this one will be a little bit briefer, but hopefully will help a few of you out. I'm going to start in the skills area. <clears throat> Not a lot to say here other than um, I've recently been changed my whole setup in the house. Um, I'm eventually going to have my face on camera, so you'll enjoy that, I'm sure. Um, but what I've done since changing was I faffed around a lot with my skills. Um, but I think the, the points I want to touch on is these end skills here, the passive skills, because I think a question I see come up a lot is how come people's green speeds are different? So I only wanted to touch on this very briefly. The putter passive skill at the very end, these are always on. Um, so if you can see, receive a roll level one, put weight level two, or put part boosts on the green. If you put level one on, then go and play around, you will always have that roll boost on. Um, it's supposed to be either or, so it's supposed to be roll, put weight, or put path. But if you put on the roll skill, you go and play around, that roll skill stays permanently on. If you then change to put weight, you will also get the putt weight skill. If you go and play around, then come back and put on puff path, you will also get the putt path skill. So one, there's a little bit of a trick that actually you can go and get. And I think there's no way to test on these other ones. You can only really test on this one, but I'm assuming the same applies for all of these. And um, feels a bit of a cheat to be fair. I don't do it. As you can see, I've just got one or some of them I got none on. But, and I didn't like the roll skill. And, you know, people complained, including myself, why have I got 192 green speeds when the, the fastest is 186? It's because this roll skill is locked on. The only way to remove that is by resetting your skill points. So you hold down the triangle, as it says in the top right. You hold that down, it'll say reset your skill points, cost you 500 bucks, and you have to go through and put every skill back on absolute ball lake if only hb could update the system so you can take on and off skills um but they want you to spend 500 dollars and redo the whole damn thing pain in the ass but if you are seeing yourself with different green speeds to everyone else the likelihood is you've put on this permanent roll skill level one and are stuck with it like i was until i reset all i wanted to do in there um so that's that's a quick update on the skills now a few tips and tricks on the fittings that I've learned. So this is my fittings now, as you can see, I've got a raft of them. Um, if you go through the individual clubs, you can see what's on. What people are finding is when they either exchange or trade up a fitting. So if I'm in my hybrid, you can see here, I have a five hybrid with a legendary fitting on and no legendary fittings. I have two legendary fittings on it and no legendary fittings in my hybrid at all because I don't use a hybrid, so I traded them out, but they're still showing as fitted to my club. So again, another glitch by HB. My club will still play as if those fittings are on. Um, so <laughs> you could by right and if you're a little bit dodgy but I don't know when HP fix it how, how knackered your game will be again you could if you wanted to put the fittings on exchange and they will stay on your club um, I don't like it I'm an OCD guy I'd rather tidy this up so how the hell do you tidy it up because in here one way to do it is to exchange them for fittings I currently have but I don't want to pay money to remove an old fitting. I don't want to put a purple one on and pay 125 bucks to put that on. So I'm not going to do that. So here's a better way um, that I found to look at your fittings on your clubs and to actually tidy them up a bit. So if we exit the fitting screen, go back into your locker, but this time just stay on your golf bag. If you press triangle on your golf bag, you get this view. Um, which shows you your club and your fittings and tells you the exact impact those three fittings have on your club. So you can see I've got a driver, legendary fittings, um, powers up by 17, timing up by seven, swing path up by 18, transition up by six, shaping up by 13, and lie range up by 11. So it literally tells you how all your clubs are playing, which is good. It's also a good view to see your gap in between your clubs. So this is about my skills activated, but this is the gap in I've got. I've tried to keep it 20 yards. So it's 30 yards between them, then 20 yards between those, and then 10 yards, hopefully, between all the rest. 
So that's quite neat. So if I wanted to say change a fitting on this club, I would click on it, click on fit, which I didn't know you could do. And then obviously you can, there's a none here. So what is useful is I have this fit and fitted. I can flick between that, put none on, and it, it drops off, but I can put that straight back on. So you can actually just see very easily what each of these fittings will do. And it is it is done by head, shaft, and grip. So it just gives you a cleaner view for me in terms of playing around with your fittings. So I know that if I put any of these two grip ones on, you can see on the right how they impact my club. Great. So this is a be much better place for you to apply your fittings. Um, this is where I would apply them in future. It's cleaner, it's neater. You can go by club and it makes life a lot easier. But also, let's do this. So I want to put my hybrid back in my bag. Let's put the five, let's put the three hybrid in the bag. It's annoying that they don't keep you in that view. Let's click on that fit, free hybrid. Let's go on the fit. I want to remove this blue one that's been sat on there for ages. So I just put none on there. Confirm, cost you nothing. I put it on all of them. Confirm. And that is the blue one removed from my hybrid. So if I go back into this fitting now, blues have gone completely from my hybrids. Not there at all, which is easier to do. Doesn't cost you any money. Don't have to faff around deconstructing them. You don't have to do anything other than, <clears throat> than what I just showed you. So let's show you again. Let's do a fit. I want to take off the purple one that's on. So I want to put no fit on there. There's no fit, which is great. And literally now my three hybrid is completely clear of fittings. Let's exit. Let's have a look at my view. Part. Go back. This is a bit that's quite annoying. I keep swapping my clubs back. But let's go back to my hybrids. As you can see, the three hybrid is completely clear now. I've left the two legendary ones on my five hybrid because if I switch back to that club, I can utilize them. Bit bit ropey, but hey, that's what it is. But there we go. Look, it was just a quick one. I wanted to give you a kind of different ways of doing it um, I think if I just show you also the last piece actually to this puzzle that I want to put on is so you can see I'm an OCD guy I like to tidy this shit up so I will constantly exchange my greys so you change to an upgrade I will upgrade them story to green do that that's how you upgrade. So I'll show you again. I go out. I go out between each one because I've had some ropey things where fittings disappear. Go back to my fittings. The new green one will be there. Now I've got quite a few green. So again, X select, X exchange. Pick the ones you want to exchange. So they're the three I want to exchange. Um, I don't want to exchange them. So you can exchange them for another green one, but I want to upgrade them to a blue. Triangle, switch it to an upgrade, hold down square, and I'll get the blue fit in. And that's how I tidy up my fit ins, so I will constantly do that. Let's go for one more. I should have enough blues now to upgrade to a purple. So exchange, pick the ones I want to do. A hybrid one can go, a wedge one can go. Hit it to an upgrade rather than an exchange. Hit down square and I got a hybrid and have a hybrid bloody purple keep giving me hybrid stuff so they never learn so that's how I tidy it up I keep ramping them up every time I have three I exchange up exchange up and you see you get yourself to this level very quickly and now I have quite a lot of purples so I will do the same with the purples 
and so on and so forth. So there we go, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so I pretty much talked you through there. The putting glitch on the skills, the fit-ins, how to remove your fit-ins using the better view for me, which is this, this golf bag view. Um, it's quite a handy view. I need to change that back to my wood. So that's better. Yeah, that's good. Make sure you do that. Um, I think annoyingly though, it does reset your wood. It does reset the pictures. It's quite annoying. But anyway, yeah, lots of little glitches still. But HP needs to iron them out. But as I said, I've talked you through updating your fittings through here or tidying up your clubs if you want to tidy them up them without paying the money to deconstruct or getting money to deconstruct. Um, I've talked you through um, the putting glitch and I've talked you through there how I tidy up my fittings to keep them nice and neat and tidy and keep upgrading, upgrading, upgrading until you get all purple and all red, which is what you want. Anyway, guys, just a short one from me. Hope you keep him well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, and you will see on my my face on the screen soon. Take it easy.